Surya means, you know, sun. As we were just now talking, sun is a source of all energy. We're here today because of the sun. The planet and the moon has a role to play, but the most important thing is the sun. If sun's rays do not fall upon this planet, there is no possibility of life, it's finished. So, this sun is not just about light, every moment your life is kept up because of the sun. The influence of the planet and the moon is definitely there, but the volume of influence of the sun upon life is too big. So one thing that we decided to do was to be in tune with him. If you are in tune with him, the cycles of the sun, then physical health, well-being, vitality, energy, these things you don't have to bother, they're just there with you. <clears throat> the sun cycles happen in once in twelve and a quarter to twelve and a half years. The moon cycle happens in twenty-eight days. A female body <coughs> is aligned towards the moon. It is because of that we are born, it is because of that we are here. That is true on one level. But whether you are a man or a woman, the contribution of the sun and the influence of the sun upon your physical system is phenomenal. Without it nobody can… The very warmth in our body, which is a sign of life, is only because of the sun. So how to get in tune with him so that your cycles will run in twelve-year cycles, not less? If your cycles run, if your physiological cycles run in sync with the sun's cycles, your physical health will be great, your mental balance will be perfect, and your life will happen effortlessly. This is the basis of all spiritual sadhana which is physical in nature. So that you get in sync with the cycles of the nature. Your existence here is not free from the cycles of what's happening in natural conditions. Surya Kriya means act… you know, doing the sun within you because there is a sun within you, otherwise you wouldn't be able to maintain this temperature, isn't it? If you cannot maintain your body temperature, you're dead. See, you can make this body either the key to the existence or you can make this body a roadblock in your life. If you leave this body to its compulsive ways, it will live a simple life, eating, sleeping, reproducing, this itself is a great thing for a lot of people because nothing else has been explored. Life happens in many, many, many dimensions, all the time happening, but not in the experience of most people, unfortunately. That's how life is right now. Only one dimension is being perceived, it seems quite okay. Only when you see the other, you realize what's being missed, isn't it? I mean, Surya Kriya is a powerful system in that direction, particularly for one's physiological and psychological balance. Why is this balance so important? Balance is very important. Suppose you're riding a bicycle. Is anybody still riding a bicycle? Okay. You're riding a bicycle. If you don't have proper balance, this itself is the greatest thing in the world that you're doing. But once your balance is very good, you can look around, you can text, <laughs> you can blow a kiss, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You can leave your hands, you can adventure into life because you have balance. If you did not have balance, that is the only thing you will do. Riding a bicycle itself is a great thing. Right now life has become like this for most people. Earning a living itself is a great thing. Remaining 
sane itself, maintaining your sanity itself is a great thing. Just being peaceful itself is a great thing. No question of adventure in life. But if you are peaceful and joyful and it is very balanced, no matter what happens, this is how you will be, you would adventure into many things, isn't it? You would try many things, you would try to explore all aspects of life. Every door that is possible, you would like to open and see what is there. But if this itself is a great feat, you will not bother to do anything. If I don't get into trouble, that's enough. Lot of people have arrived at this level of <laughs> retirement. <laughs> you should not retire when you're dead, when you're alive. You retire when you're dead. You may change your activity from going to office to something else. But how can you retire when you're alive? You retired means you died, isn't it? You may leave your office and do something else, that's okay. <laughs>